Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another Monkey VFX tutorial, and today we're going to be making a shirt in Roblox. It's a fairly simple process, but it takes work. So you're not going to get it in five minutes. Right now, I'm going to start shading in the clothing, and I'm going to choose some of the more um, contrasty areas of the shirt because you want to block that out first, so then you can add all your other shadows in later. I'm starting with a mid-tone, so then I can add darker and lighter to other sides. I like to work that way. Some people work from lighter to darker and darker to lighter. Right now I'm just filling it in. You can do it any way you want, but that's one thing. If you do keep clean line art, you will get this process out much quicker but it doesn't take too long and again I'm just adding a bit more detail there just sketching it you don't need to get it perfect because you're not you're not making this to look like that guy in the Nirvana shirt you just want to get a rough sketch of it but I'm not saying don't just do randomly you're not going to get it your first try but over around 5-10 tries of doing this you will start to get it. Right now I'm getting some lighter colors and I'm filling it in. As you can see I'm using the um, the uh, midtones as a reference and you can copy it on the side too of the lighter colors on the Nirvana shirt. Right now I'm just picking some colors. I'm getting a bit more of a uh, yellowish looking shirt because that's the style I want. But usually you're not going to pick the colors from it. I, I recommend just picking the um, like one light color because it's I find it quite hard to match the um, colors perfectly when you're using like a 16 bit template. That's what Roblox is essentially, 16-bit. Alright, right now I'm, I'm adding the darker highlights. So I'm looking at the uh, reference a bit here, and other places I'm just adding it. And right now I'm just going through it, adding it where I think I need it. You also have to define a light source. So at the top's my light source and that's where I'm seeing all the shadows coming down. That's very important because if you don't have a light source or any idea where you want the light to be coming from, you're just going to do the same shirt and you're going to be sort of confused each time. So now I'm, I'm adding some more tones. I like to add quite a few. Mo some people will add maybe one or two, even three tones but I like to add many because it get it gets a, a very nice look compared to other shirts and that and you also want to develop your own style if you don't want to add these details you don't have to but it makes it go a million times further for example you could release this shirt right now as it is but it it's not it's not there yet you have to work on it more that's why I really stress just just adding lots of tones, just adding lots of color, because you don't want it to be flat. And eventually you'll get a, a sense for it. Right now I'm adding a few more tones to it. It's a, it's a bit of a gray one, I don't really like it. Let's switch to a more yellowish one. I'm just finding a color here. And 
made the white darker and I'm gonna add some extra white it's not quite it's it's not gonna quite be as um, effective as um, or not effective I should say uh, powerful as the white before but it gets rid of that contrast you don't want too much contrast in your shirt because like you're not gonna have a hard light on a shirt generally so you just want to soften everything out Right now I'm, I'm softening the shadows here, just adding some um, mid-tones, I guess you could call it. Even now it's a bit too contrasty, but you can always fix that later with the levels. And if you don't like the color of it, you can just change it with hue and saturation. That's a great thing. If you want to change anything, you have the freedom to do it. Right now I'm, I'm taking away the shadows so they're not too harsh because before they were pretty harsh. Even now you could like make the shadows a bit lighter but you don't have to. And now I'm adding the smiley face. So I'm just going off the wrinkles in the shirt. And I'm copying it roughly. It doesn't have to be exact. Also, make sure you put it into a new layer, because if you don't, you will not have an easy time editing the logo. Okay, now I'm just fixing some stuff up, doing some retouching, taking away some of the shadows. Now I'm just copying the light source a bit more. But this is Roblox, so you don't have to be exact. I already did the uh, arms a bit, the video cut out, so it made like stuff really annoying for me. So I had to just salvage what I could. Luckily it didn't get a, delete the main stuff, but it deleted quite a bit. Right now I'm just doing the same thing I did with the shirt. I'm just copying the um, the rough lighting and transferring it. 